Hi, good morning. Hello. Well, how are you doing? Yes, it's still kind of morning. Hey, it's Kim Overholt here at my studio as usual. Uh, well, I wasn't here yesterday. Yes, I apologize. I wasn't here yesterday. I had to work yesterday. But today I have the day off and uh, I had a great weekend. I had fun. I uh, uh, it was Father's Day, so I had myself a good time. And uh, now I've come to hang out with you guys and I hope you got you are having a great day as well. I am starting off on the right foot today because I'm just, you know, there's so much to do outside. It's a beautiful day. It's actually a little bit on the cold side. I feel a little cold. And <laughs> yeah, no, it's, I'm not naked. Listen, uh, I don't get naked. On, I'm wearing a bra. Well, it's, it's actually like a, uh, but you know what? I like, you know, me personally, I like to wear less clothing when the summertime comes around. It's just me. I like to do that kind of thing because, you know, I... Maybe it's because I'm older. I don't like to be hot all the time. But, man, you can't be cool. I mean, yeah, I'm hot all the time. Anyways, but <laughs> no. Anyways, I want to say cheers. Good morning. Um, here's to it and from it and to it again because we never know when we'll be here to do it again. And God only knows if what's going on. If we're going to ever be around to do it here again. Who knows? Things happen. It, yeah, I'm, I've been hearing lots of stories lately. Hmm. Oh, hold on. I'm holding it the wrong hand. <laughs> Jimmy was left-handed. That's right. Cheers to Jimi Hendrix. Mm. Mm. Well, let me finish. I only have a little bit left at the bottom, so. Nectar of the gods. You know what I'm saying? Very, 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 very odd. Awesome. Okay. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. And yes, I am continuing to talk to you guys about art and doing art and things to get you uh, inspired, maybe, uh, to create your own kind of art and do your own kind of thing and enjoy this life that you have. Because God knows there's so many things in the background that want to stop you from having a good time that you just might as well do it on your own and, and, and create your own fun, you know, because uh, nobody's going to do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. It's like that self-hypnosis thing, remember? <laughs> Here's the thing. Hey, I used to be, uh, I used to help out with uh, hypnosis shows and things like that. Yeah, I'm a magician's assistant and whatnot. And I used to, you know, I, I pay attention to things when, when it happens. I tell a friend of mine, which is, it's true. I am not easily hypnotized. I am not, well, I don't even think the last time I pretended to be hypnotized, I actually wasn't hypnotized either. It was just like I was playing into it. I was like, okay, they want me to do that. I'll do that. I'm cluck like a chicken. Sure. Why not? Okay. But I don't even think, no, I wasn't clucking like a chicken. I think it was being a spy. I'm walking around being a spy. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, but not this time. No, no, no. And so all hypnosis, like, like I was told, is self-hypnosis. Uh, people can do it to themselves. And I usually try to stay out of that uh, wild hypnosis uh, state that I get into every once in a while. Where just like, it's usually when I'm watching television or deer in the headlights kind of thing. When I get amazed by some of the foolishness that goes on in the world. <laughs> Stuff like that, you know, things like that happen. Uh, it always seems to occur when I'm doing things too. So, uh, never a dull moment. Um, so I hope you guys are doing well. Yeah, I wanted to get you started with a little bit of creativity in your life so that you can enjoy, you know, having fun, just doing whatever uh, turns, turns your crank, whatever. And uh, I do have a book that I uh, do have to reference from if you guys want to start to do anything referring to art. And I have it here. Um, what we can do uh, for this particular thing, if you're interested, is talk about uh, building a foundation of drawing techniques to increase your skill levels for artistic decision making, understanding co composition, uh, perspective, linear, linear, well, can't even speak today, linear, uh, textural, maybe, if you're interested, maybe in doing something like the finger painting thing, I can give you ideas to get you started, maybe in finger painting still lifes or something. That'd be kind of an interesting thing, that concept to do. Um, as well as uh, different drawing techniques. Um, this one, it will give you ideas for doing uh, contour line drawing. I'll, I'll show you a little bit of contour line drawing as well as value studies, which is, means the different uh, shades and values of 
uh, not only shadow and highlights, but of colors as well. Uh, drawing on plain air, which I, I think is just just doing something freehand and being able to create something, you know. And uh, watercolor painting, well, maybe you know, maybe, maybe I'll get you to try and do an acrylic painting with me um, during the course of me being here on my site doing this. And this is what I wanted to kind of get down uh, when I started doing my whole doing the videos to, to get you interested in doing art and doing like little examples to show you as well as showing people bringing people to show you examples of some of the art that they do as well so that's maybe coming in the future too so you might get a, a sample of some of the things that we'll be doing um like particularly the first thing uh we will be learning is about um you'll be learning about drawing okay so we will we'll learn about uh, contour drawing space and value studies of negative and positive space, uh, understanding perspective, which is like one of my particular, particular favorites, especially when you want to do uh, comic books and things like that, to know your perspective when you have your, um, do your buildings and things like that, as well as uh, just doing, uh, like I say, I, I want to get you doing some painting too, because <laughs> As you guys know, I'm a Dutch painter, so I, I, I appreciate always doing painting and stuff. And I always see lots of pictures that even go through my, my feed for, um, like, in the morning, somebody says, good morning, and they have a beautiful picture. And I'm like, I can paint that. You can paint that. You know, if you if you thought about it, if you look at a picture, there's something that you really like. And this is what I did, too. I, I b Before we had computers that would save all the pictures or, um, what do you call it? Um, Pinterest, right? Uh, we would be able to, I kept in a file all these uh, different pictures that I really, really like to the day that I'll be able to do them myself and then I can finally do them. And I have done a few of them and actually posted them as uh, things for people to practice themselves and uh, turn out pretty good. <laughs> so, you know, and it's, it is something to, it's a learning process. That, so once you know how to do something, you can continue to do it and show other people how to do it as well. It's almost like cancer metastasizing itself, you know, yeah, yeah. Turn me into a cancer. Yeah, yeah, I'm a cancer because I taught people how to, uh, well, not people, I taught kids how to do this one. <laughs> Piss off the uh, teachers and everything, so. <laughs> Yeah, you guys know I'm a manualist. I actually do know how to make sounds with my hands, and I don't. <laughs> I do a little bit of uh, press to digitization, but not very much. <laughs> I know a little bit of enough of everything to be dangerous, which is makes me Kim Danger Overholt. <laughs> Danger's my middle name. Yes, right. <laughs> Woo! Raquel Welsh, eat your heart out. <laughs> Yeah, anyways, anytime I do this, I always feel like I'm turning into Griselda from uh, Little Hilarious House of Frightenstein, and that makes me laugh, too. So, yeah, I want to start teaching you a little bit about how to, to draw, and basically, like I say, I'm, I'm doing the comic book uh, uh, boot camp for anybody who's interested, wants to know a little bit more, doing comics and uh, how comics originated, that kind of thing. I have a book on that as well, and uh, getting you guys started with doing something like that. But today... I am just, I'm just getting my day started with, uh, you know, <clears throat> doing some drawings myself, um, as well as I might take it out into the field today and do some uh, actual, taking some pictures and things like that would be kind of neat to do. Okay, so, yeah, so I want to get you started with doing some drawings and uh, learning about uh, color values and and uh, learning about linet lines and uh, how it affects even the pictures that you draw. I can give you an example. Oh, hold on a second. I'll give you an example. Okay, of linear drawing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because everything's always close by. I have my paints. <laughs> I also have to me my face paints for uh, the days that I want to paint my face. I always, you know, one of these days I'm going to do a face painting little thing too, if you guys want to, but in, in the usual painting, don't get them confused. Don't put like uh, canvas paint on your face or put face paint on the canvas. Uh, it doesn't really work. Okay, so uh, linear. 
stuff I'll tell you. Like, maybe I'll give you some examples. Like, for doing all my cartoons and things like that for all these years. Oh, and my little... Oh, I love doing this. Yeah. My little... Uh, my little cartoons that I've been doing over the years. You, you learn how to draw. These are some of my cartoons that I did uh, in the past. And one of these days... See, and this is what I mean about line. That there's heavy lines and there's thin lines and you put them together and it makes something really fancy it's like something like that you see one of my pictures that i love to do uh it got from an idea uh from a book always great to get ideas from a book uh one of my favorites is i, I drew myself the clown caboodle when i was a clown and there's some of my friends and there's aunt penny and oh, uncle shoes <laughs> and of course uh, Richard Bell. I can't remember what the top clown's name is. That's okay. You don't need to know. You don't need to know. And there's Mr. Fisher <laughs> and his dog. Yeah, Mr. Fisher really likes to go fishing with his, with his big pants on. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, so <laughs> some of the stuff that I like to draw. And oh, like even like a little bulldog as a clown. Cat is clown. He says, "Okay, you can stay up all day. I'll just rest here in the shade. I'm gonna, I'm gonna color them in later, just so you know." I did one, this one here called the Fairy's Keep. There we go. And you see these right here? They're all based on figurines. They're not actual drawing. I mean, they're not actual drawings from somebody else. I drew them from looking at figurines, and uh, the figurines were already in their poses the way they are here. Which is kind of cool. I like that one. So it, these are real nice. And eventually I'll color this in too. The Fairy's Keep. Maybe even make a story called The Fairy's Keep. Because I have a story already out there. If you guys didn't know, it's called The Plight of Time by Kim Overholt. So yeah, look it up on Amazon. It's only on Kindle. And if you want to check it out, I mean, it's a $10 uh, donation <laughs> to, to me to keep going with my, uh, you know, books and, and things like that. But uh, you know, you can draw about, you know, where you work, that kind of thing. Here's me when I used to work at Henry's, the photography store. I'd come in and i open up in the morning. I'd turn off the uh, the phones from being on the nights where I'd only go to the answering machine. And I'd be, hey, what are you guys doing? And, and then finding out that the aisles are all empty and they're in the back room on their phones. What the hell do you want? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> that was it, basically. Anyways, I don't know. Yeah, that, that was basically how I got treated most of the time when I was at oh. Anyways, I have this one here. I like this one. Good thing I'm looking at this. Ice cream or else I'd be looking you, she says. <laughs> yeah, and I did stuff like this. Uh, what did Kimmy Clown draw for you today? That's me as my little Kimmy. And, uh, oh, I did uh, the, the first Simpsons uh, Treehouse of Horrors. This is a quick little one that I did. And I will color it in one day. And Mr. Burns, and he's dead. But wait a minute, Mr. Burns is not dead. He comes back as a ghost and digs him back up and he kills him. <laughs> he was undead. Undead. Oh, Mr. Burns. <laughs> And I did a second one where it's uh, Maggie has millions of sharp little teeth inside that little thing that she sucks on. She's actually part alien. I love that. Oh, and this is the people I work with over at uh, Henry's. And there, there's me over here uh, at the end here, juggling one. Yeah, that's me. Uh, I juggle three balls. Yeah, I juggle three balls because I'm a clown. Ah, <laughs> sorry. Oh, you know, um, my job right now is a little bit harrowing. I have to, uh, when I'm, I'm scrubbing pots and stuff and I'm using my hands a lot and I find that my hands ache and lately I've been um, cramping. My hands have been cramping on me so they start to go in one position. I have to like move them to stop them from cramping. I don't know if you guys have that happening to you. Maybe I'm dying. Who knows? We're all dying eventually, right? <laughs> Slowly but surely. Oh, oh yeah. The Fat Frontier of 2009. That will not go here. That will not go there. Um, a little bit of, uh, order for the stuff that I drew. It was supposed to be that shattering kaboom! Right. 
that sounds like a kaboom right there. Anyways, and there you go, line and quality and drawing and shading and everything. And that's what I want to get you guys doing too. Stuff like that. That's the kind of stuff that I like to do. And uh, drawing and coloring and painting it in eventually. There we go. And the guys I used to work with, poor guy. I made him into a cartoon. He's gone now. Yeah, he decided to off himself early. Anyways, there we go. A few other ones, designs that I'd like to do. I got these ideas from, um, oh, there's a guy that I follow too. I can't remember his name. Christopher Hart. Christopher Hart. And he does all this stuff too. So I just kind of follow like the things that he does and make my own kind of thing. Oh, oh, oh. And there's a nice little. This is my new pet. <laughs> Ooh, scary. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and this is when he's having a he's having a personality crisis. He's wearing cowboy boots. And all of a sudden, one day he comes into his telemarketing and he wants to wear cowboy boots. And people know he's trouble. Yeah. I was back in the days when I used to. Oh, of course. One time superheroes, my favorite. <laughs> time for self combustion man. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, there's me and Fluffy the Clown. We were buddies. Oh, and my what Martha went back in when I was cleaning up uh, at retirement homes. Yeah, you see, I remember everything. I used to do that. Oh, and I have Griselda. Look at Griselda. Ooh, eat your heart out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I have to remind myself I have to. Oh, oh, oh. See, yet there's a nine and shading, too. There's another one that's good for you to kind of get, get an idea. And, again, I took these ideas from uh, looking online and finding pictures that I wanted to try and draw. And make sure you get your lines. Do, you know, do it in pencil first and then do it in pen if you have to. Erase your lines and, boom, you got a perfect Or If you can do it freehand, more power to you. I can't do it freehand myself. I have to use pencil first and, and then go over everything and then erase and stuff yeah so yeah there's ideas like line and shading and to give you uh just an idea like i say just go online and find pictures that you want to draw that you like oh i really want to learn how to draw that and if you want to you can send some information to me uh either down in the uh, comments below or you can oh, i don't know you can uh Contact me at my website, kimoverholt.com, or you can follow me there. They'll have all my links there at my website. So just go to kimoverholt.com, and you'll find all about me. And I appreciate your time because I know that it's a time is one thing that uh, you never get back. I mean, money you can spend, and you might be able to save some, but you can never save enough time. So I appreciate your time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. And like I say, in the next few coming up, I'm going to start teaching you a little bit more about line, uh, drawing, contours, uh, shading, and we'll go from there and see how we do. Okay? All right. So have a fantastic day. Me, I'm out of here. I'm Like I say, I, I got to get myself some more canvases. I got to go get myself a few things. I just got to get out. Get out now that we're, we're trying to get out of lockdown. It's government people when they're locked down. I don't get it. I don't get it. Makes no sense to me. Makes no sense to me. I'm a healthy Canadian human being. And I am happy. And you can't stop me from being happy because it's a choice. Just like everything in this life, you have a choice. Peace out, brother, with a little bit added. And the choice is yours.